the latest champion. That's right. She's a champion. She won Chopped Junior. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Amelia. Welcome. How are you? I am good. Very excited. <laughs> wow. So you just said in early June they did the finale and mm -hmm. it aired, um, but you probably knew ahead of time that you won? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it filmed in February and it was very difficult to keep the secret. <laughs> Everyone asking me in school. Now, mm -hmm. how did you start? How did you realize that you wanted to kind of cook? Was it something you did as a child? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so when I was three, my dad, like, he, he always cooks. He cooks dinner every night. And I just just kind of, like, just kind of say, said there, like, you know, I need to do this. I need to be like him. I need to, like, learn to cook. And that's when I really just started. Wow, by emulating your dad. Yeah. So what's the first recipe that you made? Do you remember? Scrambled eggs. Okay. <laughs> and so is there a technique? Let's just talk, like, just talk shop here for a second. Is there a technique <laughs> to scrambling a good egg? Uh, whisk it for a very long time until it's like a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous. Yeah. That yes, means where the white blends into the yellow. Yes, exactly. Right? It's all one color, right? Is that what you want? You want yes. an even coloring, right? Exactly. You know, and I agree with you because sometimes when you, um, especially if you use organic eggs, yeah. they tend not to, like, blend yeah. as well. For some odd reason. I know. And then you Just, cook it, and then it looks <laughs> doesn't, weird. Well, yeah, it doesn't really work. Right. Is it yeah. yolk? Is it white? Is it, <laughs> like, right? But yeah. if you blend it, then it has an even flavor. Yes, and it's very fluffy. Which ah, is, very Which is what everyone wants. Because you want to aerate it, right? Yeah, exactly. See, I I'm emulsify cooking it. Too. There you go. There you go. Cook Woo. to cook. Um, so, in fact, my grandfather was a chef. Really? And it was so much fun growing up and going to his house every Sunday, you know, for dinner and everything. So now, did your family expect you to cook dinner now? Did you take over for so, dad? So, kind of. My okay. dad, he works okay. a lot. So sometimes he'll just, like, come home and I'll just be cooking something and he'll be like, oh, there's food for me. This is great. <laughs> you know? And yeah. where do you shop for ingredients? Do you do all of your own shopping? And so do you... my, I always create my own recipes. I never work from a cookbook. I don't like cookbooks because I, I like to make it my own. Okay. And so I always make my own lists. And some usually I like to go with my dad or whoever is shopping just to make sure he gets it, you know, exactly right. And yeah. And being in eighth grade, you just don't drive yet, right? <laughs> just not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to. Oh, you yeah. want to be able to go out and shop and get the yes. things that you want to make. <laughs> what are you known for? What are you, what's your specialties? Fresh pasta. Okay. Fresh pasta. Like, I love making fresh pasta, and, you know, whether it be ravioli or agnolotti or spaghetti, whatever it is. Okay. Now, spaghetti, I mean, do you have like a crank that yeah. makes the little, okay. <laughs> but you make your own dough, I guess, from mm -hmm. scratch. Yeah. So it's, it was actually kind of funny. My dad got a pasta maker, like, for his birthday and he hadn't even touched it yet and I was just like dad can I use it and he's like sure honey go <laughs> go get them some families have power tools they teach how to use a screwdriver or a hammer things like that but not you you're like pasta go maker. for the pasta maker <laughs> very adorable yeah uh, tell us a little bit behind the scenes uh something great that happened during your experience besides winning of course was there was some wonderful yeah. friendships made like what was the essence yeah. of your experience so in the last round me and the girl tifo that i was with she was crazy we were before like before all the takes and everything we we're just running around set blowing bubbles just like having so much fun and they don't show any of that obviously okay but it's something that's like you know you make a new friend and it's something that you can like relate to someone you know like with cooking and you're going through the same kind of experience exactly what are your hopes what are your goals i mean obviously this <laughs> you're coming off such a big high right yeah yeah what do you see in your future well i actually kind of have a plan right <laughs> yeah so i want to go um, obviously to college first and get a major in journalism because i love to write and you know i could be a food critic or a food writer or write my own cookbook and then actually go to the French Culinary Institute in New York City. Lovely. Yeah. And we would love to have you come back on the show and maybe That's interview some other chefs and stuff so with us, have fun. a little bit of fun. <laughs> so, right? And it's yeah. Chopped Junior. Yes. I know. Sometimes I have dyslexia and I'm like, is it Junior Chopped? Is it yeah. chopped? But it's Chopped Junior. And then I remember the C before the J. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and if somebody wanted to connect with you, do you have a website up yet? I don't. But okay. actually, I was just talking to my dad about creating a blog or getting a YouTube channel just to kind of like, since I'm a kid or a teenager, kids, you know, they don't really know how to cook or they do, but they want to learn some other techniques. And I could be, you know, that source for them. Yes, I think you are the source for them as well as adults. Thank you, Amelia, for joining us. You're just Thank so gracious you. and congratulations once again. Um, and I would love to dine with you sometime. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll chop something Anytime. up together. Okay, great. And we can make scrambled eggs, right? <laughs> All right, stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with Amelia Carpentieri. She is the winner of 2016 Chopped Junior.